Hey, Calvin here, and I am sitting behind my window, which is currently closed. The blinds are closed because it is very hot right now. And in fact, it is 97 degrees, so it's pretty toasty. And every single day, I have to remember to close these blinds or else it gets really, really warm in this room. And so initially, I had set up a reminder, just a very simple reminder on my Reminders app to tell me every single day at a particular time to close the blinds. But me being the engineer that I am, I had to do things a little bit extra. Now, the reminder on my Reminders app worked fine for the most part. It told me every single day at 2 p.m. to go and close the blinds. However, there was one little thing that bothered me, and that was I didn't need to close the blinds every single day. I only needed to close the blinds when it got super hot, like today. And so what I did instead was I just went and created a series shortcut or an automation to remind me to close the blinds every single day at a particular time, only if the temperature was above, in this case, 85 degrees. So if it went above 85 degrees, I wanted Siri to remind me to close the blinds, but if it was below 85 degrees, then I didn't need to close the blinds because it didn't get that hot. And so in this video, I wanna show you how I created that automation and how you can create it as well and do some really cool stuff with it. So that's what I'm gonna go over in this video. We're gonna go over how to create a Siri shortcut that can remind you to do things automatically with a little bit more control than what you would find in your regular Reminders app. So if you don't know what Siri Shortcuts is, it's basically an app that gives your other apps superpowers. So you can do a lot of really cool stuff with it. You can write scripts, you can set up automations, shortcuts, cuts and do some really powerful things that integrates with a lot of apps on your iPhone or your iPad to make getting things done quicker and more effective. So for an example, if you took a picture with your camera, you can set up a series shortcut where it will take your last picture taken and post it to Instagram with a pre-written caption that you wrote all with just a tap of a button. You could also do stuff like starting a particular playlist when you arrive at a certain location. So for an example, if you come home, you want Siri to start playing a particular playlist, you can set up Siri shortcuts to do just that. Another cool example is you can text your friend if you're running late to a particular event and your Siri shortcut will go through your calendar, pick out the event that you're running late to and tell your friend or text your friend exactly how many minutes you're running late and when you expect to arrive. Again, all with a press of a button. Oh, and you can also get Siri to tell you something when you plug in your iPhone to charge. Kind of like this. Hey, you finally plugged me in. Thank goodness. So Siri shortcuts is obviously very, very powerful, but I don't wanna get into the really nitty gritty stuff in this video. I just wanna show you the automation that I made and how you could do something similar and use Siri shortcuts and automations to do a lot more with your iPhone. Okay, so here is how I set up Siri shortcuts to remind me to close my blinds every single day at 2 p.m. only if the temperature was above a certain temperature. Okay, so here we are at my phone and you can see that my Siri shortcut or my automation ran about an hour ago and it told me I can keep my blinds open, which is actually incorrect, but I was just testing it out. So this is the reminder that you'll see when you set up your automation and have your Siri shortcut run. So let's figure out how to do this. So I'm going to go to my phone. I'm going to find the shortcuts at and open that up. And the shortcuts app is pretty cool. So you have all of your shortcuts here. You have your automation scripts here. And then you also have your gallery where you can check out some pre-made shortcuts and customize them and do all sorts of stuff. So if you're not into really creating your own scripts or your own automation, you can always go to your gallery and check out the shortcuts that are available. But for our example, I'm gonna go down here to the automation tab and I'm gonna create a personal automation. So an automation is basically a Siri shortcut that runs automatically at a particular condition. So for an example, you could run an automation automatically at a particular time of the day. You could also run it when you arrive or leave a certain location or when other events happen. For an example, when your iPhone connects to your home Wi-Fi, you could do something like start playing music. So for our example, I'm gonna go to time of day because the sun starts really getting hot at about two o'clock. So when I hit time of day, I'm gonna enter in two o'clock PM. So this is when I want the automation to start running. And I want the automation to run every single day at 2 p.m. So I'm gonna keep 
daily checked. And once I have this set up, I can go and hit next. Now, this is the screen where you set up your automation. So an automation is really just a sequence of actions that this automation can run through to show something like a notification to keep my blinds open or closed. So the very first thing I want to do is get the temperature at my current location because remember, I only want to keep my blinds closed when the temperature goes above, let's say 85 degrees in this point. So I only really want this automation to send me a notification if the temperature is hot enough. Otherwise, I could keep the blinds open because I know it's not going to be too hot. So the first thing I want to do is click add action. There's a lot of different actions that you can do. We're going to go into this search bar and search for temperature. So you'll see that the weather app comes and then under actions, you can select get weather forecast or get current weather. I'm going to select get current weather because I want the current weather at a location. In this case, I want it at my current location. Now you can change this. If you just tap on current location, you can choose current location or you can search for another address, but I need it at my current location. So I'm going to keep that selected. I'll hit done here. And then once I have the current weather information, I want to check if that weather information gives me a temperature that is above 85 degrees, and then I can show a notification. So I'm going to click this add action, and I'm going to go into the search bar and type if now under actions, you'll see this if action. So I'm going to tap on that and you'll see that there's three blocks that get added this if this otherwise and this end if and in coding terminology, this is called an if statement. So you want some piece of your code or your automation to run if a certain condition is true. So in this case, if my temperature of the weather at my current location is above 85 degrees, I want to show a notification. So remember this very first block at the top. Well, that block gets you your current weather at your current location. And what it's going to do is it's going to pass that weather information into the next blocks that it sees in this automation. So in this example, it's going to take the current weather and pass it into this if block. Now this says if weather conditions and then condition, which we still have yet to fill out. But remember, I want to check the temperature and see if it's over 85 degrees or not. So I'm going to tap on weather conditions because that's what gets passed into this block from this get current weather. And I'm going to scroll down here to temperature. So if the temperature in, let's say Fahrenheit is greater than or equal to, and I can type in a number here. So 85 degrees Fahrenheit, then I want to show a notification. And the way that I can show a notification is go back here in this search and type in notification and you'll see this show notification action. So I'm going to tap on that and you can see that the notification action gets pushed down to the bottom of the list. Now I want to or drag this and bring it right below this if statement and you'll notice that it gets indented a little bit. So what's going on here is that if this block is true, if the temperature is greater than or equal to 85, then I can show this notification. Otherwise I can do something else and then I can end the if action. So I want to show a notification and I can type in whatever I want here in the notification body. So in this example, I'll say close the blinds. It's going to be hot. So this is the notification that is going to show if the temperature is greater than or equal to 85 degrees at my current location. And now I can customize this notification a little bit more. I can add a title to this notification. So I can just say something like blinds. I can choose to play a sound if I want, and I can also attach other data alongside this notification. But for this example, this is good enough. So I'll just click done. And then you'll also notice that there's this otherwise. So if I wanted to, I could show another notification saying something like, well, it's not going to be greater than 85 degrees. So I can keep the blinds open. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll go back into the search, type in notification, click on notification, and then drag it into the otherwise section of this if action. So let's go over this again. We're going to get the current weather at the current location. And then if the temperature is greater than or equal to 85 degrees, then I'm going to show this notification otherwise. So if it's not above 85 degrees, I can show another notification and I can type in something like you can keep the blinds open. It's going to be nice. And there you go. 
This is the automation that I use to check whether or not the temperature is hot enough to close the blinds or it's pretty cool and I can keep the blinds open. Now what's cool about automations is that you can also test them out right now. So if I went to this play button at the very bottom, it's going to run the automation and it's going to show me my notification depending on which condition this temperature meets. So if it's above 85 degrees, it'll say close the blinds. Otherwise, it'll say you can keep the blinds open. So I'm gonna hit play and you can see that it's running. And then it says close the blinds, it's going to be hot. Why? Because the temperature is 96.8 degrees. So it's pretty hot and the automation said I should close the blinds. So I'm gonna go and close the blinds. Now, if I wanted to test this other notification down here, I could go here and change this temperature to something like 100 degrees. Because I know the temperature is obviously not 100 degrees, so I know this block is not going to run. And instead, this block is going to run. So let's go ahead and test that again. If I play it, you can see that it says, you can keep the blinds open, it's going to be nice. So I'm going to change that back to 85 because well, 100 is pretty hot and even I think 85 degrees is pretty hot. So once I'm done with this automation, I can click next and I can turn this on or off. So if this is left on, ask before running, then when the Siri shortcuts runs this automation, it's going to ask me if it wants to go and run the script. So at 2 p.m. it's gonna ask me and then if I allow it to, it's going to do this, this block that we just set up. I don't like that. I want this shortcut to run automatically. So I'll just go ahead and turn that off and say, don't ask. I just want Siri shortcuts to automatically run this script at 2 p.m. every single day to tell me whether or not I should close my blinds or not. And once that's done, I can hit done. And there you go. That's your automation. And hopefully that helps you keep cool during the summer. All right, there you go. So I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial. Hopefully you learned a little bit more about Siri shortcuts. Hopefully it's given you a little bit more insight as to what you can do with Siri shortcuts and the automation feature. It's a really powerful app and it's one of my favorites. If you do have any questions on the automation that I showed you, please leave that down in the comments below and I will see you all in the next video.